Very good. Excellent. Okay. And because we don't have so much time, I have to interrupt you. Uh, in general, just a, a thing from the right hand, I see that you are carrying the bowl like this um, most of the time. And I, I recommend to think about the moments also to come a little more down with the wrist. That's the wrist, right? Wrist. Yeah. And uh, if you Especially when you have a forte, like the beginning. And you have this, you are not uh, putting your weight of your arm on the bow. But you, you are, it's a little bit more artificial from my point of view uh, to put pressure on the string because you have different possibilities. The pressure can be like this or it can be a natural weight, which also, um, Makes some one thing better. The the arm can be more relaxed, or the muscle tonus can be more soft. Otherwise, it's a more tension thing, and the tension is not good for the sound. Mm. So that's why, just in general, if you could practice just empty strings like this, and you try when you come to the frog, not to do always this, but you can try to trust your bow, and you just follow the bow. And you leave the wrist down and you don't put the bow on the side, like the boat in the wind uh, with ten before. No, you stay like, like this, the, the hair over the, uh, the, the, the wood over the hair. Yeah, and it's possible to have this on the frog. And then you use the natural weight of the bow. And then when you come to the middle of the bow, you add some weight of your arm. So, but this is a general thing we cannot change in one second. But you have a very good technique and I think it's just an idea to, to, to think about that. Okay, very nice introduction, there's nothing to say. Uh, in, the, in the Allegro, I think maybe you could start a little bit earlier that the thrill. This one. If you anticipate a little bit too soon, too early, then you have more chance to have at least maybe three. <laughs> we, I know it's very hard. It's this terrible place. We all know that, right? So we, we are with you. And so um, that's the one thing, not, not a big thing. But the other thing is what I also think is what I talked before with the bow is that you make the... And then you lose the, the sound, for my personal taste, too much. Of course, that's a, it's a philosophy. Some people think long notes always like a bell, bong. But it's not true. It's, of course, beautiful to be able to, to make the sound like a bell. But sometimes we also have to take care of a long phrase. You know what I mean? That's dangerous. And so, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so please try again the, the, the forte the Allegro Aperto, and uh, try to, when you come over the middle with a now, that you don't, that you don't uh, give it in too much, okay? It's not good to, to give in always, you know? <laughs> and also... I mean, you didn't do that. But just on these long notes, just think a little bit. Is this really the end of a phrase, or have we the responsibility to continue a little bit? Okay, let's try that, please. Very good. And of course, we need a separation. But for me, uh, that you do. You keep a little bit of sound, I like very much. But of course, I, I, I didn't say it clearly enough, maybe. I don't mean it. I mean, of course. 
you must stop the bow, but before you stop, you don't have to make a big diminuendo. No. And by the way, we will listen to you again, um, the other music, uh, which comes next. When you have a... Uh, wait a second. Uh, uh, I would, uh, the other request, what I want to ask you is, could you make a little uh, separation? <laughs> No, because it's too much. It's too much. Uh, it's unclear. Mm -hmm. I think the, the the note after the bum ba da 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 because di dum bum, that's the end. Da 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 di dum dum, and then it's, the the sixteen notes are always the, the the counterpart of the long note. So I think it's not good to make the uh, yeah da 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 too much uh, of this uh, connection. Let's try one more time uh, from Allegro, please. This place. Take time for this switch uh, shift, <laughs> and uh, because we are always in the stress there as a violinist, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> so that means uh, it's really important. You stop the time for a moment, you know. The other don't realize it, but you stop the time, and. The old rule from Isaac Stern is first left hand, second right hand. It's like here. Okay? <laughs> because we are sometimes too hasty and the, the, the left hand and the bow is already there. That's dangerous. Otherwise, it was very good. I think you could also try to start really from the, from the very frog because it's not so dangerous. If we start not from too high above, if you manage to be very close to the E string, you can do a lot of things. If you are too high, we have immediately this. But you have a very nice sound and you play very cultivated. And so I don't want you to, to play like, of course. But you can, you know, and more swing and more activity in the arm, which makes the sound more aperto. <laughs> 